Disclaimer. This video's information is being provided for informational, educational, and general interest purposes only. The information in this video is not intended to shock, enrage, or otherwise provoke the viewer. The sole purpose of this video was to raise awareness of true crime-related events. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Welcome and thank you for visiting Crime Champs. Before we begin, please subscribe, click the notification bell, like, share, and leave a comment. We always appreciate your contribution. Today's video is about involuntary manslaughter, felonious assault, endangering children, and gross abuse of a corpse. Involuntary manslaughter is punished less harshly than other types of homicide, but it is still a serious offense. Involuntary manslaughter, for example, is charged as a first-degree misdemeanor. When an assault is severe enough to be considered a felony, such as when a deadly weapon is used or the intent is to commit another crime, it is referred to as felonious assault. It is a serious offense with serious consequences for the offender. A parent, guardian, or other person responsible for a child under the age of 18, or a person who employs or supervises such a person, commits an offense if he knowingly endangers the child's welfare by breaching a duty of care, protection, or support. Abuse of corpse occurs when a person intentionally and unlawfully disinters, digs up, removes, conceals, mutilates, or destroys a human corpse, or any part or ashes thereof. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The Cleveland woman accused of killing her disabled five-year-old son and burying him in her backyard gave birth to her tenth child while she was incarcerated pending her murder trial. According to court documents, Larissa Rodriguez, 34, gave birth to a girl on April 27th. According to the records, she was transferred from the Cuyahoga County Jail to a nearby hospital where she gave birth. According to court documents, a judge granted Cuyahoga County Children and Family Services temporary emergency custody of the child. On April 29th, the girl was discharged from the hospital. Jordan Rodriguez's death has led to charges of murder being brought against Rodriguez and her boyfriend, Christopher Rodriguez. Jordan was discovered dead and buried in her Detroit Shoreway backyard on December 19th after Christopher Rodriguez's brother reported the death to authorities over the phone from Pakistan. According to court documents, his body exhibited numerous signs of abuse, including broken ribs. Jordan died, according to the prosecution, because his mother neglected to take him to the doctor. Jordan was last seen alive in September, and according to the prosecution, detectives think he passed away around September 22nd. In court documents, social workers claim that her home was in deplorable and unsanitary conditions. Social workers discovered one child eating a sandwich covered in cockroaches when they arrived at the house, according to records, and it was also infested with rats and cockroaches. The county, which has launched 13 abuse or neglect investigations into Rodriguez since 1999, has taken the four kids who lived at the home into emergency custody. Larissa and her boyfriend, Christopher Rodriguez, have all entered not guilty pleas to the murder charges. Last week, Larissa Rodriguez entered a guilty plea to charges of money laundering, grand theft, telecommunications fraud, and trafficking in food stamps. Rodriguez and Nancy Caraballo, a social worker hired by Catholic Charities to assist the family, admitted to participating in a scheme whereby the social worker paid Rodriguez roughly 50 cents on the dollar in cash in exchange for using Rodriguez's food stamp benefit card. According to the prosecution, Rodriguez used the funds to visit her boyfriend while he was imprisoned in Medina County, as well as to pay for gas and her cell phone bills. Caraballo was expected to visit Rodriguez's home once a month to see how the family was doing and to assess the living situation. Investigators discovered that Caraballo merely showed up at Rodriguez's house on at least 12 occasions to pick up the food stamp card, but that he then submitted phony reports claiming to have inspected the house. Caraballo received a three-year sentence, while Rodriguez received a six-year term. We'll just put my bag in the stuck chair. How about that? Is that okay? Oh, it's chilly. 
chilly in here, isn't it? No. No, you're not cold. That's because you have that nice warm jacket. This is Rosemary. Hi. Hi. How you want to sit in the stuck chair? Sure. That sounds like. We'll let her sit in the stuck chair, huh? <laughs> Big ride this morning. We had a big trip, huh? So your first name is Milton. What's your last name? It's Ben. Okay, that's good. What is it? A. A. R. 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 O. O. Y. O. Very good. How old are you? Seven. Seven. When's your birthday? Don't remember? No, that's okay. You go to school now? Where you go to school? Waverly. Where? Waverly. I'm sorry, I can... Waverly. Waverly? Okay, what grade are you in? First. First grade? Do you like school? Yeah? You have a lot of friends there? All right. So my name is Ray, and this is Rosemary. How you, where are you staying now? Is he with the Fred family? No. No. Foster parents. Foster parents right now? Okay. Do you miss your mommy? Yeah. You love mommy? Yeah. <laughs> you know mommy's friend Chris? Do you like Chris? Yeah. Chris nice to you? Yeah. All right. Do you miss home? Yeah. Did you like living there? You still got your doggy there? Or is the doggy gone? Doggy gone. Is he? Cat. Just a cat? Two cats, right? I seen the cats. They were pretty. They're by themselves. They're by themselves? Yeah, the cats are by themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you, are you with? Which brother and sister now is he staying with? I'm not sure. I'm okay. Super new. Who are you staying with right now? Which sisters or brothers? You remember? I remember one sister. Which sit? Which sister? Mama. Which one? Mariana. Okay. Mariana. Mariana. All right. She's here with you today. Yeah. When was the last time you seen your brother, Jordan? Has it been a while? Yeah? <clears throat> so when you're at home, what um, if you do something wrong, what happens? You got to sit down in the corner or what happens if you do something bad? I sit down. You just sit, have to sit down? Yeah? I don't play. Huh? I don't play. No playing? No? Anything else? You get a spanking on your butt? No? That's good. Mm. Did When was he last have contact with family? Do you know? I do with any? None? I do Not sure. Know. Okay. <clears throat> do you have any questions, Rosemary? I was wondering if I can ask you. May I ask you a few questions? Would that be all right? No? Okay. All right. Do you think you can warm up to the idea of me asking you a couple questions? Maybe? Well, here's my questions are pretty easy. <clears throat> what I've been wondering about is how have you been sleeping? Have you had any trouble falling asleep? Yeah. It's so hard to sleep away from home sometimes, isn't it? Do you, at home, did you usually sleep with a, your brother or sister, or did you sleep by yourself? I and my sister. Yeah, and so now you have to sleep by yourself, that's it, I suppose. No? Can you jump in with your sister? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, sometimes what happens is kids you know, that, that never did this before, you know, sometimes when they're away from home, they wet the bed. Have you had any, had any problem with that since you've been down there? No. Okay. The other thing that happens sometimes is kids have, like, they start having dreams about things. Have you had any dreams? They, no? You kind of hesitated. You might, and more like, 
Have you been waking up at night at all? Yeah. And when you wake up, is it because you just kind of feel like, where am I? Or is it because you're thinking or dreaming about something? What do you think? None of those two. None of those two. Okay, geez. All right. You have to go to the bathroom. All right, there you go. So you're getting up to go to the bathroom at night. All right, there you go. So when you were at home, did you have to get up and go to the bathroom? Yeah, okay, that's what you did. All right. Um, so tell me about how school did. How's the new school? Good, you like it. Now, are you learning to read this year? Are you reading? A little bit? No? Sounding out words? Have in the new school is the new school like your old school or is it is it different? Like less kids in the class or the same amount of kids? Mm -hmm. so not less kids, I bet. Did you have your own bedroom at home? Did you sleep with your bro two brothers? Just you? Me and my brother. You and your brother? Which one? Okay. Well, did Jordan sleep in there sometimes? Yeah. Yeah? And did he sleep in Mommy's room too? I don't think so. You don't think so? Did, when you would sleep with your brother and sister, did you sleep with a sister or did you sleep with a brother? A brother. A brother. The brother who was in the room with you? Yeah, just jump in with him. That's, that's good. I remember when I got married. A long time ago, it was the first time I ever slept by myself. It was kind of lonely. It was hard to adjust to that. Have you had any trouble adjusting to sleeping by yourself? I know, it's hard. It was the least amount of people I slept with until I got married. So I can understand that. Do, do you have, are you having any trouble with, like, the dark at all? Being in the dark? No? That's... Do you have any trouble with, like... Hear, when you hear big loud noises, no. Okay. Now, here's something that happens sometimes when kids have to go away from home where they usually are. Sometimes they have like a movie <coughs> that plays in their head. And it's like a movie because they, they can't stop thinking about something and it just play, it goes round and round. And sometimes it wakes them up at night and sometimes it just gets in the way of, of doing things. Have you had any of that? No? No? Okay. So do you ever think about things that you might not wish to think about at school when you're trying to, at school when you're trying to pay attention? Do any like thoughts come in your head about things that have happened? Well, that's very good then. All right. Have you been making some friends down there? Yeah, and can you name? Two, can you tell me two of your friends? What their names are? <laughs> no, are they girls or boys? I bet they're boys, right? Are they boys? So, are those kids? Are there other kids in the home with you besides your sis? Besides your sister? Yeah. Yeah, like a bunches of them, or just a few? Four sisters, I think. You have four sisters? And how many brothers do you have? Four. Mm -hmm. So you have, there's eight kids in your family. No. Seven kids in your family. How many kids in your family? Ten. Ten kids in your family, okay. And in the foster home there's you and your sis, and how many others? Did, did you say four? Did you mean four? No, just you and your sister? You and Mariano? Okay, so okay, it's two boys were out there. Two. I mean, three boys, and I think five girls. So you got Anthony? He's in another foster home. Okay. And then Jordan? Oh, he is in, what is dad? He's where? He's with his dad. With his dad? Okay. And then Gilbert? He don't live with us. I don't know where he 
Do you remember the last time you seen Gilbert? Has it been a long time? Mm. And you got Angel? And that's your oldest brother? I think he lives with his girlfriend now. Oh, really? Mm. Okay, and your sisters, you have uh, Mariana you staying with? And then, what is it, Navea? Yeah, she's with her dad, too. She's with her dad? And Tatiana, right? Yeah, she's with her dad, too. Yeah. You miss him? Yeah. It's hard to be separated. Now, I just was, was thinking about one thing. Have you seen your brother since you started school this year? Since you went started in school? You've seen your brother Jordan since then? Okay, just trying to figure that out now. How long it's been, I was trying to figure out. Um, and have you seen him since... Like Thanksgiving? We had turkey? No. Okay. Right. Well, that's good. So, what do you do in a foster care? What do you do in the house? Like, what time do you get up? Do you have to get up real early to go to school? Yeah. Do you have a little breakfast before you leave? Yeah. And then, what time do you get home from school? About 3 30 ish? I think so. I think so. Mm -hmm. And then, what do you do after school? Hang on. Play. 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 And what do you like to play with? My new toy that I got from Christmas. Did you get some new toys? Which, what's your favorite one? The one that goes by itself. It goes by itself? What does it do? It plays with music. Really? What kind of music? You have a toy that plays by itself, plays rap by itself? Wow. That was pretty cool. Who did you get that toy? Size boys. Yeah. No. All three boys got it. All three of you got it? Do they like the other boys like it as much as you do? Good. Thanks. So you've been playing with that? And has it been snowing where you are? Pretty cold. But it looks like you have some nice warm clothes to wear. Good. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got one of those, too. You know what, though? That's just a little air I'll let in there. He'll be all right. That's okay. Boy's been doing that forever. Getting all those things. How did you get the hole? Did you fall down? It's been there. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, it's, it looks good. looks fine. Is that, how, is that what you wear to school? Can you wear just regular clothes? That's good. Milton, do you remember, was Jordan going to school? He was going to go to Gallagher. He was? Okay. Do you remember if Jordan if Jordan did something bad, did he have to sit down too? Yeah? Where would he have to sit? Do you remember? He had to sit in the living room. In the living room? And had to watch what my mom and dad had. He had to watch TV, what they wanted to watch. He couldn't watch cartoons. What a dread. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. So that was like punishment. You have to sit, in the, sit with your mom and dad in the living room. <laughs> and probably be a little quiet, I imagine. Did you have to be quiet? Hmm. So I've been thinking about <coughs> food lately. Maybe because it's lunchtime. How are you eating down there? How, how have you been eating? Good. Being good. What did you, you have for dinner last night? Do you remember? What did you have for supper last night? Uh, we had ham, mm -hmm. turkey, mm -hmm. mashed potatoes, beans. Mm -hmm. Sounds like what I had. Yeah, really. <laughs> Universal leftover last night. That's it. That was pretty good. Did you have any pies for Christmas? No pie. Okay. So, so you're at, so you've been eating pretty good. No problems there. With that, that's good. Have you at, uh, and you are at, you're going to be off school this week and next week. I think so. You think so? Okay. How's your teacher? Do you have a nice teacher? 
What's her name? Is it her? Is it a woman? A fellow? You have a teacher that's a fellow? Boy. Boy? What's his name? Do you ever know his name? You like playing sports? What do you like? Soccer. You like soccer? It's fun. What position do you play? Huh? What position do you play? Are you a goalie? <laughs> you are? Show us one of your moves, your goalie moves. Go ahead. <laughs> no, we have to get a ball, wouldn't we? Peter Shell's playing. I don't think they have any balls up here. I would have brought one if I thought about it. So, do all the other kids, do, you, do the other brothers and sisters play too? Soccer, or do they play different things? They play different things. Thank you. I don't know. So in your in your family, who's your closest who's your closest friend in your family? Your brothers and sisters? Who do you hang out the most with? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Boo -boo? And who does he have does he have another name besides that? What's his other name? His real name is Anthony, but we call him Boo Boo. And why do you call him? Because he's our brother. Because he's your brother. Is he your big brother? Little. Little brother. Okay. I'm. You're his big brother. And how is he just little little guy? Four. So he's pretty little. So you are you a good big brother? To try to help him. To help take care of. Him. And does he go to school now too? Does he go to Head Start? He. I don't know. He was going to school. Mm -hmm. But he's not in school yet. Yeah, because he's, he's still kind of in So, so did he, now which room did he, did he, did he stay in with you sometimes or did he have another, his own room? He, he stayed in our room. He stayed in your room. So you had you and who and who else? And Jordan. And Jordan was in with you. So the three fellas slept in the same room. Three boys in the same room. That was good. So did Jordan sleep with you sometimes or did he always sleep on by himself? He slept on his own bed. Uh, all of us slept on our own bed. Wow. Did you guys have each have your own pillow and covers? Oh, yeah. That was good. That was nice. So, so you all slept there together. Did you guys go to bed around the same time? What time did you go to bed? When it's when it's like a regular school night. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. That's good. That's a good night's sleep. Did Jordan ever wake up at night at all? When he when he was ready for bed, did he just? He just he just falls. He falls asleep. He knew he wouldn't wake up at night. Do you know if he, Jordan would got sick at all when you last seen him? Was he feeling okay? He was okay. Now sometimes, sometimes uh, at night when kids are asleep, sometimes they hear fussing and arguing. Did you ever have any of that? No. Well, that's good. Because sometimes that wakes kids up when they sleep, if parents are fussing and arguing. So I'm glad you didn't have that. Didn't have any. And at home, do you speak Spanish or English? English. Do you speak Spanish? Hablo español, señor? No. No. Not even a tiny bit. I'm surprised. So, is there anything you know? We've been asking you so many questions. Do you have any questions for us? No questions. How was your ride up today? Was did it take a long time to get to Cleveland from where you were? In the car, did it take a long time? Are you, do you like to ride in the car or no? No, me neither. Do you get a little car sick or just boring? Boring? Yeah, that's what I think. Did you guys have any lunch on your way up? Are you hungry? 
I bet. I was worried about that. that you might be. Well, I think we may have a few snacks we can give you just to tie, just to kind of keep, make it a little less hungry. You're probably tired too. You probably get up early. Did you get up early? I thought of a question. Can oh, I ask him a question? Please, go Thank right ahead. Questions? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go hogging up all these questions. No, you're fine. It's so, it's so weird. We can't move we can't our chair. The chair. Which is that's the weirdest. Why, that's why neither of us wanted to sit in it. He said, I don't want to sit in the chair that's stuck. And I said, I don't want to sit in the stuck yes. chair either. Because yeah, I couldn't cold. tip it back. Yeah, it's so strange being in that chair. So I heard all about your day when you're in your foster home. You wake up early and you go to school. Now let me see if you could remember. I'm going to ask you to remember. Do you, can you remember things from a little while ago? Do you have a good memory? You don't? All right. Well, I'm going to challenge you. Let's see if you can remember. When you were in your home with mom and what did you call Christopher? Did you call him dad or did you call him Chris or what did you call him? Dad. Dad. So when you were in the home with mom and dad, what did that day look like? Would you get up early for school? Okay. And then what? Who took you to school? My sister. Me and my sister. Mariana, did she walk everybody to school or did you guys take the bus? Me and my sister walked. You and Mariana walked to school together? And then when your school day ended, did Mariana walk home with you? She did. And who was usually home when you got home? My big brother. And what was his name again? Angel. Angel. Angel, was he, was he usually the only one home? No, it was my sister and brother. Angel and Mariana? No, me. Once we walk home, I, he's home. Who was? Angel. Okay, so you and Mariana walk home and Angel was home. And nobody else? It was my sister and brother still. Who? Babu and Mimi. Anthony and Mimi? Okay. Well, where, what, who are we missing? Who was in the house? Yes. Anthony, we had Anthony, Mimi, Mimi, Mariana, uh -huh. you, yeah, Tati was there. Angel, Tatiana. So when you got home, everybody was home? But what about Jordan? You didn't say him. Was he home too? Where was he at? He was with his dad. Oh, so he wasn't at home. He was with his dad. Okay. And what about, what about mom and dad? Where were they at? They was at work. Oh, they were at work. So Angel would watch the other kids. Is that right? Okay, I gotcha. And so then when they came home from work, then what'd you guys do? He stayed for a little bit. Who? Angel. Oh, he would stay and hang out? And then would you eat dinner? When they came home? Or did Angel feed you dinner? Oh, uh, Angel helped cook. Okay, he helped cook. What's your favorite meal that they would cook? Do you have a favorite? I'm asking you so many hard questions. Broccoli. Broccoli's your favorite? Wow, wow. good for you. That's excellent. That's a nice, healthy choice. He's such a nice young man. He was holding the door for me. I'm he's, not surprised. Yeah, he's a nice young I man. I can tell he's a gentleman. Uh -huh. from a so you like broccoli? That's good. Okay, so you guys would eat dinner, and then what'd you do after that? Go to bed. You would go to bed? And and it would just be bedtime at about 8.30 for everybody? Yeah? Okay. So what would happen if somebody, like, really got in trouble, like did something really not that great? What would happen? Did anybody get in, like, really big trouble ever? Who did? I don't know. What did he do? He hit me. He did? And so what happened if he would do something like that? He would get put in the corner. He would get put in the corner? Okay. So if we take something away, we would like sit on the couch. You would sit on the couch? You okay. guys ever have to sit in a closet? Huh? Did you ever have to sit in a closet by when yourself? When it was nighttime, when my brother would be a bad. Which brother was bad? Boo-boo. So if he was bad, then who had to sit in the closet? Boo-boo. He did? For how long? Ten minutes. For ten minutes? Did Jordan ever sit in there? Yeah. 
just when he was bad? Did they ever close the door or leave it open? Yeah, close it. Was it dark in there? Yeah? What, is he scared? Yeah, would you hear him crying? Did you ever have to sit in there? That's good. Boo Boo did though? And then what would happen, um, like when Jordan was in there and he was crying, then what would happen? And my mom said, would you be good? <laughs> she would ask him if he would be good. Who would make him sit in there, Mommy or was it Christopher? Mom. Mommy. And then if he said he would be good, then what? She would let him go lay down. She would let him go lay down? Okay. So did you think of any questions that you had for us? Nothing? You don't have one thing you want to ask or no? No? I have a, I thought of a question I would like to ask you if I can. Can I ask you one more question? At the, no, I know. It doesn't mean, I don't know. At the foster home, how, what happens when kids are bad? What happens at the foster home? You all done, bud? You want to get out of here? <laughs> Load this popsicle stand. Yeah, you're hungry too. Mm. All right. You know, I'm so sorry. I did not hear your name. I apologize. My name is Trish Frank. Hi, Trish. Hi. Trish. And what was your name? Rosemary. 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 Nice to meet you. Do you want some water, bud? You want a bottle of water? No? You want to get out of this room? All right. <laughs> Well, that's indeed correct. 